The Mayan train, or El Tren Maya, is a $20 billion rail route that began operations in December 2023. Connecting dozens of must-see sites across the Yucatan Peninsula, it spans 1,554 kilometers, or 966 miles. The goal of the Tren Maya is to connect famous tourist destinations in the Caribbean with lesser-known sites inland, while highlighting historic Mayan sites that inspired the name of the train. 42 trains carrying up to 3 million passengers a year will link the main towns and attractions in the region, thus redistributing the flow of tourists currently concentrated on the coast and encouraging development in a region that historically has been neglected by the state. I've just returned from two weeks in Mexico where I had the opportunity to travel extensively with the new Tren Maya. And this is a brief tutorial to share what I've learned while at the same time walk you through what you need to do and what you can expect when buying tickets for this exciting new way of traveling around this part of Mexico. And I'm going to start off by showing you what I did when I was in Mexico and I bought tickets online in Mexico. So getting tickets on the website isn't too difficult. Um, first, go to trenmaya.gov.mx and that'll take you to the Spanish start page. You can opt for an English version if you want. And uh, one of the things you can see is the Train Maya routes. Spanish. And so here you see um, the stops in green, that's the route that's already completed. The ones in gray, that's the rest of the loop that needs to complete it. That's not open yet, but all the stations in green are the ones that are theoretically open. So up here you've got Cancun Airport right there, and it goes all the way down to Palenque. So to buy tickets, go to the start page again, and it says Compra tu boleto aquí, buy your ticket here. And the first thing you need to do is pick your route. So. Palenque to the Cancun airport. We don't want that because we're starting in Cancun. So it's Cancun airport to Palenque. We want that route. And then you have to identify yourself as being Mexican or a foreigner. Unfortunately, Mexico, like many Latin American countries for their tourist attractions, they charge foreigners more than they do Local, so unfortunately, uh, if you're not a Mexican, you're going to be paying more to use the Tren Maya, uh, but that's just the way it is. So then you choose your um, starting station, and we're in Merida now, and we want to go to Enque. So we choose that, and then the date, we're gonna look at today the 28th, and they have the 1218 going, so we pick that. Playing around, we can get an idea what some of these trips cost. You can see here, if we go from Palenque back up to Cancun, that's the whole uh, roughly 10 hour trip from one end to the other. Um, the price is about $124 in the tourist class, and then the first class would be $269. For a shorter trip, such as Campeche to Merida, which is two or three hours travel time, you'd pay about $18 US for the tourist class and about $55 US for the premier class. Just be aware though that the price might change for the same distance trip depending on the direction. For example, Merida to Campeche, you're gonna pay 37 US in the tourist class and 55 US in the premier class. 
from Merida to Chichen Itza, you're talking about $20 in tourist and about $37 for premier class. And just on a side note, I don't know if this is a glitch or not, but I noticed in some instances, Premier was actually cheaper than the tourist class. For example, Valladolid to Merida was $58 in tourist class and only $48 in Premier class. Okay, so getting back to purchasing tickets online. Check availability, so we'll check that. And you can go in tourist class or Wagon Premier, which is kind of first class. And I'm gonna spoil myself. Uh, we can see what seats are open. So I'm going to choose that seat. And then it says, register the passenger. So you add your name, you have your passport number, date of birth and things like that. Then it will take you to a secure page to make a credit card payment. And if you're buying the tickets in Mexico, just be aware that you might get a fraud alert on your credit card. The first time I tried using it in Mexico, this is what happened um, once I accepted the charge and it was rerun and then went through. Then I didn't have any problems again. But the first time I tried using a credit card, buying tickets in Mexico on the website, I did receive a, a fraud alert. You can also buy tickets at the different ticket windows in the different stations. Uh, I just noticed that some people trying to buy tickets for trains on the same day were out of luck because the tickets were sold out. So you're probably better off to buy tickets online. Just be uh, aware that you can only buy about a week in advance. You should also get an email that says something like this. Thanks for your purchase of your tickets for the uh, Merida Tea Station to Palenque and then they say they're going to be sending you your actual tickets. Before you get the actual tickets though they've got to make sure that you've paid so you should get something in your email that says comprobante de pago. This is your official receipt from the bank that you submitted your credit card information to and once you have that that proves that you paid and then after that you'll get an email with the tickets. And that email should look something like this. It'll say notification of ticket or tickets. And the subject line will look something like that. You open the email and it's got your information, your name, and then it's confirming your departure station, your destination, how much you paid. And after all that information, you'll see an attachment that has your actual ticket. You open that, and then this is what the actual emailed ticket looks like. You can print out the ticket if you like, but most people just download it to their smartphones and then scan the QR code. When it's time to travel, go to your respective station. Be there about an hour beforehand. And if you buy tickets at the ticket office there, they'll look something like this ticket in hand, you are going to then proceed to the security section and every station is set up a little differently. Some are more complete than others, but each of the stations that is open has a section where you go through security. Generally, you have to wait about 20 minutes or so before the train departs, before you can head through security. There, they'll scan your ticket, they'll check your ID and check you in. Then they'll direct you to your platform and you wait for your train. As you're waiting, you'll probably see that there's a lot of excitement surrounding the train Maya. A lot of people are taking videos and taking pictures. Uh, press is there very often, so for the time being, um, it's generating a lot of excitement. And when it's time, board the train. Go to the car that you've been assigned to and look for your seat. Here you can see what a tourist car looks like. You can see there's two rows of seats on either side. And here you can see what the premier class looks like. You see there's two seats on one side. On the other side of the aisle, 
there's just one. Um, they're a little more spacious. Uh, they're a bit more comfortable. And often, premier class has fewer people in it, so there might be more room. Another difference between tourist and premier class is that you're served food in premier class. Uh, if it's in the morning, they come by with coffee and then breads and pastries, fresh fruit, and then usually you get something like a sandwich, a chapata or a normal sandwich, or it might be empanada. But um, if you're traveling in the morning, um, you get a nice breakfast. If you're traveling in the afternoon or in the evening, then they come by with drinks and coffee and also uh, sandwiches of some sort. It might be a torta, might be a regular sandwich, might be an empanada, but you get something for lunch and dinner as well. And if you want something else, head into the bar next door. They've got snacks, they've got soft drinks, and then they got stronger things. They got beer and wine, you can get tequila, mezcal, all in all, I've been very impressed with the uh, Mayan train, and I think it's uh, going to be great for Mexico, especially the Yucatan Peninsula. And there are plenty of bathroom facilities on these trains. Uh, between each car, you've got a bathroom, and these are very nice modern bathrooms, kind of like um, the big bathrooms you have on modern trains in Europe and Asia. To recap, I traveled on the Tren Maya from Cancun to Palenque, and then I also traveled from Cancun to Valladolid, and then from Valladolid to Merida. And I also took the train from Merida to Palenque, and then from Palenque to Campeche, and from Campeche back to Merida. While I was in Merida, I made day trips by train to Chichen Itza and back, and Isamal and back. And in all, I traveled eight different legs of the Cancun-Palenque route and with the exception of the Merida Palenque train, uh, which had a four hour delay, all of the trains departed and arrived on time. So aside from the streaky windows, one complaint I heard a lot was the location of many of the stations in relationship to the attraction or the town they were servicing. Most of them are about 15 minutes ride from the city center or the entrance to the attraction you're going to. So you'll have to take a taxi, walk 30 or 60 minutes, or else use one of the uh, shuttles that are provided at many of the stations, like the wonderful electric trams they have at the Merida Teya station. As I said, all in all, using the Mayan train was a very positive experience. I would add one caveat though, and that is to watch out for scams at the Cancun airport and the Cancun station. There's a free shuttle that leaves from right in front of the Cancun airport to the Cancun uh, Tren Maya station, and it leaves exactly one hour before the train departs. So make sure you get that shuttle. If not, you'll have to pay to take a taxi and even though the station is right next to the airport and the taxi ride is less than 10 minutes, they really rip you off. They charge you $100 for a five to 10 minute taxi ride. So be careful of uh, what kind of transportation you use to get from Cancun airport to the Tren Maya station. If you do have to take a taxi like I did, be careful because this guy said he couldn't make change for the cash I had. He said I had to use a credit card. So I gave him my credit card, and as soon as he ran it, I got a fraud alert from my credit card company saying someone was trying to run more than $500 on the card. When I confronted the guy, he said it wasn't him, but what a coincidence. So uh, just be careful at the Cancun airport and the Cancun Maya train station. And I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, uh, drop me a, a comment below and I'll try to help you as best as I can. But if you're thinking about taking the train Maya during your next trip to Mexico, I can highly recommend it. And I hope you have a good time. Thanks and uh, stay tuned for another video to drop where I highlight some of my experiences uh, during my two weeks traveling in Mexico and using the Tren Maya. Thank you.